There's a difference between looking at something and seeing something. We have a lot of people who know about classic or traditional African art, but they have not seen strong contemporary African artists. And that's what this is. African American Museum of Dallas has a great new exhibit you will not want to miss. Welcome to my home, welcome to my studio, welcome to Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm Anastasia Pather, I'm a finger painter. I'm Zemba Luzamba, I'm a visual artist living in Cape Town. This is my home studio. What you see here is my studio space and there is my office. And this is, this is all my magic opens for me. I'm about to make my way to Dallas and see my work, which was currently just behind me, now be in a completely different space. I'm trying to play it down because I want to, of course, you know, be memorialized as very cool, calm and collected. But it's a big moment. Honestly speaking, actually, I didn't know the artwork which is going. I didn't know exactly what artwork was going. What I knew, one of my work was selected. Lucky, wow. Oh God, this is happening. I've got this group of friends and I try and explain to them that Nando's is taking me to America to exhibit my work but not sell my work. And they're not expecting anything of me. I just go there to be me and Everyone keeps laughing that I'm going to become a celebrity in Dallas, but nobody thinks of me in that way here. Oh, everyone was happy, you know. The kids were like, oh, dad, you're going to, yeah, that's really good. Then, Papa, you're famous now. You know, I was like, wow. So the African American Museum in Dallas has been one of the premier museums in the Southwest. This is the first place in the world that this exhibit has been shown. So it is a source of great pride for us. It's a piece of Africa in Dallas. Personally, I would not have put that two together. I know this could have been anywhere, and I don't know the reason why, but I'm glad that it's here. It needed to be here, you know, and I do hope that the engagement I know it will be because Dr. Robinson is not playing, <laughs> you know, just making sure that he's pulling in, you know, people from all across the city to see this. I think this exhibition is going to be a new experience, not only for the young people, but primarily for the young people, for older people. They have seen these outstanding African shows of African art, but very seldomly have they seen a show of contemporary African art, and especially from South Africa. And this is a new experience for a lot of people and we're going to try to expose as many people as possible. Exposure is the only way that you can become a successful artist. People have to see your work. And if they don't have the opportunity to get exposure. The Nando's art collection has been really amazing. They let us take things right off the wall from restaurants for the show. And I think we've brought a real gem of a gift to the city in the sense that many of these artists will be new discoveries for the people that come to see the show. And having them here standing in front of the finished, realized work of art brings 
a breath of life to the show. I'm always confident that uh, when I finish a work and sign, I know it will find a home. You know, I always know that uh, once signed, the artwork needs to find a space to be hung, you know. Just to see it here, because the last time I saw it was in my lounge, it just is, it's a bit surreal in many ways to see it alongside like so many contemporaries that, you know, you, I've either studied with or have taught me or I learned at school and now to be showing with them. It's a really wonderful feeling I could get used to. It's a blessing. It's a blessing and uh, a privilege to to have it here and have the work uh, being seen by people in, in this community because it gives also a message far from Africa, but one can at least get the message here in Dallas. I think for them, in terms of a personal journey or professional journey, it's extremely important to be here in the United States with their exhibition, but also to be able to explain their work, to be present. This is one of the largest markets, you know, for the art world. And from a commercial and, I guess, career perspective, it's extremely important to have that visibility. You know, most of the curators and collectors are in the U.S. This is where the largest uh, collector base is. So I think for them to have exposure physically, you know, with their artwork and being able to network and be engaged with African-American, you know, uh, audience as well is extremely exciting and important for their professional development. There's a massive value that, that Africa is bringing and, and I think we're being recognized for it. It is very important for a network from Africa to be seen out there in the world because there is a message that is sent. There is a piece of culture, African culture behind. There is a piece of wanting to make one understand what Africa is about. We're trying to exchange our culture with the world. We've never really had an exchange with African-American artists and African artists. So this exhibition is going to be a basis for a lot of conversation. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming to the VIP preview. Um, if you look hard enough, you can see our future. This work is created behind me. It's on the floor. It's in my house, it's in my life. And then it leaves and it takes on this life of its own. And it's going to a museum in a different part of the world that I've not been to before. And I think it's given me a lot of confidence to understand that um, I've got value outside of South Africa and that people want to see my work outside of Africa. It has really been a whirlwind of kind of cultural exchange of the artists getting to know Dallas and meet people here, but Dallas getting to learn more about this vibrant, amazing culture and the artistic production, you know, of a continent that sometimes doesn't always get the appreciation with the focus and singularity that it deserves. It's just a big deal because it's like we're breaking through barriers. Like they're recognizing Africa. Like Africa is really on the map, and that's a big deal to us. Like even if it wasn't Southern Africa, it's just. Africa Rise, I'm all for it. One of the most interesting things about this exhibition is the diversity of the show. I think certain people, when they think about African art, they may think of more you know, figurative art, or they may have a preconceived notion about the kind of art that's being made in Africa. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's artistic. It's not all black. We have white South Africans, Indian South Africans, black South Africans, Africans of all races. So it's just, they'll see a different dose of what the media doesn't show them. What people think of what South Africa is very much still around our, our past, our political past. And we're so much more than that. And I think now's the time, like, you know, we're giving the mic to the people, you know. So now it's, it's about time, really. <laughs> the mic is being passed to Africa. We get to tell our stories and share it with you instead of someone else on the outside telling us. You know, at my age, 
I don't talk much about the future. When I was younger, you know, I talked more about it. But when I looked at the topic, it talked about a future of hope and a future of celebration. It talked about a future of unity. And it talks about the commonality between a Southern African artists and the African American. The more you start to understand about American history, the more sadly shared history we have of discrimination and misunderstanding and miscommunication. And I think that's something as a South African we know all too well. But this whole exhibition is about the future and it's about understanding what the future could be if you just look for it. can only be positive it can only be positive because i'm just thinking like we all like africa yes we have we have our challenges but like look at us and still thriving there's there's a reason for that patrons who will come and engage with the artwork that's on exhibit will have a really deeply meaningful interaction with the artwork on display and we'll be able to kind of relate again as americans relating to the south african experience as Americans who can see ourselves depicted and see even our own history. I came here for school and I haven't been home in five years. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually walked down the street because everybody's driving in Dallas. So seeing a picture like this, people kind of understand when you say you miss home because a lot of time like, what do you miss about Africa? I miss this. I miss walking down the street where my uncle's working. I miss grabbing an apple as I'm walking down the market. I miss waving to an auntie off a balcony somewhere. I think if you look hard enough, you can see that shared humanity, that shared zeitgeist, and you can find yourself situated in the various pieces in the exhibition. You can find your emotions, your family. You can find the universality. That is, you know, really beautiful outcome of looking. The invitation does become a metaphor, a practice, and an action to a shared future. We get to that future by looking through the lenses of others to the point that we can see ourselves. You know, it is not easy for one to be taken seriously into a new environment, you know. But once you've been given a chance to, to take part of uh, this uh, kind of project, then the future is brighter. The future is promising. The future is, it's like opening the door to, to greater things to come.